I looked forward to uh, going to church because we were in the choir, and sometimes we would take up the offerings, you know, like uh, when we had a youth day or something like that, and, and swimming and all the Easter egg hunt, and also Bible class, Bible uh, school, school uh, during the summertime. I always attended uh, 16th Street Baptist Church. My sister, uh, it was certain woman that I would be with, you know, like the the one that was closer to my age, like Addie. Now we would we would always be together, cause of our age, and we we got along real good. We never have had any arguments. We just loved to be with each other, cause you know back there during that time, my mother would uh, uh, make aprons and pot holders, and we'd go out and sell them. And we enjoyed that. My mother, she would go to the uh, mass meetings, and uh, we we found out about it then because you know my mother would go every Wednesday, and she would tell us that she think that she would go to the meetings. She she would uh, march with the older uh, children. At least uh, they would, I say older kids because they were older than us. Cause at that time we was. 12, but she would go out there with the kids, like if they was 18, something like that, and march with them. My mother would always get us up real early on Sunday, like about 5, because, you know, she she had to do our hair, wash it and, and, and straighten it. And we got up early because it was going to be youth Sunday, and we was going to participate in all the, the, the things that was going on in church. I remember how... Eddie and, and Jane and myself, how we, we, we walked to church that morning, so happy. We, Jane had a little purse and we were throwing it and just catching it and you, we were laughing all the way to church, was having a good time. And uh, when we got there, uh, Jane came down and, and, and freshened up in the basement because uh, her, her, her uh, class was upstairs. So she came on down with us, and uh, we freshened up, and she went on up up the steps, and we stayed down in the lounge because we just made up a mind, man. We weren't going into our class, and it was, you know, late anyway. So we stayed in the, in the latest lounge. So while we was there, we were just, I was standing at the door, looking out the door, uh, uh, waiting for our class to turn out, because you could see them, because they was out there in the middle of the floor with, you know, the table and chair, uh, Denise, Cynthia, and Carol, they was coming to the uh, door. They came first into the latest lounge. And then they went on, they spoke to us, and went on into the stalls, because it was in the next room. So uh, when they came out of the out of the stalls, they came out at the same time, because, you know, it were three stalls there. So they came out, Ed was standing like by the uh, wonder, because the, the couch was right there in front of the wonder. So Denise walked over there to Eddie and asked Eddie to sa tie the sash on her dress. And by that time, when she reached her hands out to tie the sash, and I was looking, we all stood there to look, but None of us got a chance to see it because that's when the bomb went off. It just, boom, it was so loud. And all I could say was, Jesus. And then and said, called, I called out to Addie, 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 Addie. And she didn't answer. So I thought the girls had went back to the area where, you know, center, where the Sunday school area. And all of a sudden I heard someone say, and I bombed the 16th Street Church. And he looked in there, and he seen me standing. I, I was all blurted because, you know, I, I was blind. I couldn't see nothing because uh, the glass had blinded me. So anyway, he came in. He said he came in there. And he got me out. And when he, when he bought me out, the, the ambulance was already out there waiting. You know, most people think that they pulled me from under the rubbish or something like that. 
But I was standing on my feet because where I was standing, they was a little bit farther, a few feet away from me. Cause like I said, I was I was by the sink. And uh, when he came, he picked me up in his arm. He just took me out, and that the ambulance was waiting, and they rushed me to uh, Hillman Hospital. And when I got there. Uh, it was somebody that said that, I don't know who it was, but they said the doctor wasn't in. The eye doctor wasn't there yet. And uh, I laid there on the cot for a while, and uh, that's when Janie came in. That's my sister, you know. She came in, and she said, I asked her, I said, where's Addie? And she said that Addie had hurt her back, but she was going to come to visit me tomorrow. So I said, okay. And um, they rushed me on to, into surgery. And when they, uh, when I came out, that's when I found out really that all the girls that was in there with me was killed. I was the only one that survived. No, I didn't, I didn't really know that I would see. I just had an idea that maybe that I, I I wouldn't be able to see as well, but when they 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 let the patches stay on my eye about a week, and when they took them off, that's when the doctor asked me what do I see out of my left eye, and I said I see a little light, and when he took it off my right eye, he said what do you see? I said I don't see anything, so I was blinded. I bl I was blind in my right eye. I was really feeling uh, uh, sad, and I was just wondering why why were those girls killed? They was all sweet girls, uh, you know, and uh, just real, real sweet girls. They, we and we would get along in in class, you know, in Sunday school class, and I, that's all I could do was just wonder why were they killed? They didn't do anything to get killed. It was a few people from my church came to, uh, to visit me. Pastor uh, John Cross, he came, and, and a couple of more uh, uh, people, but it wasn't in, like a big crowd would come in. I had a few visitors, and uh, some of the visitors I didn't even see because I didn't even, at that time I was so angry. When they came, I just kept my head on the cover like I was asleep. I just didn't want to be bothered, you know. Uh, uh, with any visitors, I, I I was I was glad to get out because uh, I know you know I was gonna go back to school, and uh, I was about ready to go, and I was uh, ready, and then I wasn't ready, simply because of the fact that I w that bomb put a lot of fear in me. I was so nervous, I was really real fearful, and I you know every time I would hear a loud sound. I would jump. It would scare me as if I was still hearing that bomb go off. Cause it was it was such a loud sound. You know, uh, 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 people. I know a lot of people thought it would just say, boom, and it was over with. But it wasn't like that. It was, it went like, boom, just like that. And every time I would hear just a little noise, you know, back there at that time, it was a lot of car cars backfiring then. And when I would hear the, hear, the, hear the cars backfire, it just made me jump all over again. I had to go back to school in a, in a very terrible condition. And, and, and it was a week, week later. I didn't get a chance to even stay home to uh, uh, get myself together because I had to go back to school. My eyes was, uh, uh, wasn't right, you know. I think uh, through prayer, you know, my mother, she was really a Christian, and she prayed a lot, and I think that was the only thing that really brought us through all that, because that was something that thrust upon us, which should never happen, you know, especially because of our race. Yeah, we, we was black, but I was always wondering why was uh, the people so mean, and, and we'll put a bomb in a church simply because of our race. And it just, it just really kept me wondering all the time, why? And kill those 
four Anderson girls. 